Let's talk about the best base spots or the best base locations to build in on the island map for Ark Ascended. Keep in mind that we don't have all the details for ASA yet, but I'll name it a few of the things that we do know. They will be adjusting some of the cave entrances to balance out the caves for PvP. That won't really make a huge difference for the pve players but it will make somewhat of a difference there won't be cryopods so that's a big one otherwise a lot of these base spots would be completely different whenever cryopods were added to the game when extinction came out people stopped building outside in the open and they started building in little holes like a bunch of rats hence the name rat holes but now we return into the og art that only some of us got to experience with a few changes of course like rhino nactheas or i just like to call them rhino gnats because of how retarded the name is but now those are a thing there's only going to be some tech items it's not going to be all tech they pretty much said the only tech that's going to be in the game is the tech that was released with the island map so we'll have tech armor tech tp the tech teleporters are going to be smaller than they were in the first game so you'll be able to fit them in a lot more base spots that you wouldn't have been able to fit them before because those things take up a lot of space. But yeah, they got tech TPs, tech armor, a couple tech saddles, some tech structures. There's not going to be skiffs. There's not going to be mechs. No exo mechs. No tech rail guns. No tech bows. No tech phase pistols. None of that. It will have the tech rifle. But that's I'm pretty sure that's the only tech weapon that will be in there. But yeah, tech teleporters being a thing and them being smaller is gonna have a big impact on these base locations and the fact that we won't have cryos is gonna have a big impact on the base locations but i can't tell you how hype i am to be able to play the game again before all the broken shit was added to the game so for the first spot we have these two pillars right here right next to redwoods coordinates are 43.1 67.8 but keep in mind the map's going to be different but the coordinates stood should stay the same and even if the coordinates don't stay the same it's literally right to the northeast of the redwoods there's a few good things about this spot first of all there's a note literally on top of the pillar right there and as you can see there is a ton of metal at least until you harvest it and then you have another pillar over here that you can build on right next to it you want to throw some breeders on this or whatever you want to do and then you can even build on this little cliff ledge right here next to it too there's going to be a lot more bases being built outside without cryos being in the game i'm pretty fucking hyped about that bud and the spot is like right in the middle of the map i mean not exactly in the middle but you get the point right there is redwoods which is good for hitting swamp cave for cementing paste or just leveling up your character or leveling up your dinos you got metal in the spot and if not you could go right here to this mountain to get metal this spot might be a pain in the ass to use at least until you get a quetzal or a rhino net and you could actually fly your bigger dinos up here or a tp but i'm sure you'll have a rhino net or a quetzal before you unlock tp because the tp comes from the hardest boss on this map and it's it's honestly a bit difficult i don't think there's any exploits for the dragon boss on this map so it's gonna take a minute to unlock the tp for the next spot, we have this underwater cave. This is where the artifact of the cunning is. Let me show you the entrance real quick. All right, so that's the entrance. I'm gonna go straight up from the entrance. So here it is on the map. And there's the coordinates, 45.989.1. It's a little bit north northeast of green Ob. you're just gonna go straight down from right here so if you look at that rock see the swamp that rocks like right above the swamp it's gonna be right up the beach from it just go straight down here's the entrance it's kind of a big entrance but like i said they're gonna be adjusting some of the cave entrances to balance them out for pvp so this cave entrance could be any size now they did say that the changes that they were doing to the entrances were minimal. They don't know how the meta is going to change with cryopods not being a thing and a lot of stuff being removed. Being that it's only going to be the island map. They said that they were going to make adjustments as needed. Now will they actually make adjustments? Who knows. But uh, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. But yeah, depending on this entrance, this could be a pretty decent cave to build in. You guys plenty of underwater area there's a bunch of dangerous shit in here but you can get red drops throughout this entire thing come down here this is where the artifact is 
artifact of the cunning. Oh yeah, you got that whole little tunnel. I got two so spawns in here. Another two so spawn. Another two so spawn. And then it comes up on land once you get further in. There's tons of room in here. And there's an explorer note. Little bridge. But yeah, pretty cool spot. Let's see, what's the name of this griffin? Oh shit. Or Banjo's Arc PvP. That reminds me. You should check out the Banjo's Arc PvP servers. The servers will be available on all platforms when ASA comes out. We're gonna have some modded servers to play on. I'm gonna leave a link to the Discord in the video description and in the pinned comment. Thank you very much. See you there. Then we got this mountain right here. Coordinates 36.0, 58.9, right to the north of Redwoods. Put your base somewhere at the top right there. And I'm pretty sure you might be able to get up both sides of this. But I don't know if you can right here. That doesn't look like it. So it looks like there's only one way up right here. And there's a ton of resources. Metal, stone, obsidian, crystal right there. You got your swamp cave down there for your CP. Look at all the metal. It's everywhere. Tons of it. But yeah, you got that mountain. I'm going to show you the mountain next to it. Right here. 33.878. There's a lot of metal on this one too. With some crystal, stone, and obsidian. And you could fit a pretty decent sized base up on top of this thing. And it looks like there's only one side you could come up. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think you could come up on this side. Okay, so you can come up right there. And then right there. And probably right here. And right here. There's a note right there. Four times. But anyway, yeah. A lot of the base spots are going to just be on top of these mountains. Because until you get teleporters, which will be later on, you can't really use the majority of the caves. Because you're not going to be able to get all your dinos in and out of it until you have a TP. Or until they release cryopods. Alright, so we showed both mountains. Alpha pillars. The cunning base spot. Now we got Carno Island. This is definitely one of the alpha spots. If you're not a big tribe, you're not gonna last right here for very long because in my opinion, this is top, this is at least top three base locations on this map. What tribes will do is they'll just take over this entire island. Before you get TPs, you're not gonna be able to use this cave a whole bunch unless your dino is smaller than this entrance right here. But you can foundation off everything, put foundations all around the island and then you can put them all throughout here and look there's a water spot that goes down once you get further in here just think about how hard it would be to raid this spot without having cryopods then look how big this thing gets and it's got drops in it you can make this thing multiple multiple layers and it's got an artifact in it artifact of the devourer the thing I don't like with the whole cave building being enabled is that if basically if you're not the biggest tribe on the server, you're not even going to be able to get tech. The only tribe that's going to be able to get tech is the biggest tribe on the server or friends with the biggest tribe on the server. So the second that one of these caves are blocked off, some of the boss fights aren't going to be able to be done anymore. But yeah, once you get a TP, you'll be able to TP dinos in and out of there. You know, put a put your other teleporter wherever you want, probably in the center of this thing. But you can just breed all your dinos in there, have this thing defended, and then do all your crafting and stuff out here. You could probably keep your important loot in there in this building as well and just make a giant ass crafting station and you could breed other non not as important dinos out here but yeah i really like this base spot it's, it's definitely in my in my top three or four i'm gonna be showing a few of the spots that aren't necessarily alpha spots too but are pretty decent base spots a very small amount of people are going to be able to be alpha on at least on the official servers so i'm going to show a few of the other spots too this is one right here we got 15.0, 68.6. It's at the very north of the map. Directly west of Carno Island that I just showed. I got this cliff ledge right here. Comes down, it's one entrance. And then this other little cliff ledge. You could do whatever you want right here. Take over this walkway. And then it's got water access if you want to do uh, any type of water breeding or whatever. It's a good little base spot. Like I said with the mountains, because this is another mountaintop, 
pretty much any of these mountain tops are gonna be pretty decent base spots to build on. I got this snow mountain spot that you could put a pretty decent sized base on. I have a little hill tower right here. And it looks like there's only one way up this thing. Yeah, so right here is the only way up. So that's pretty solid. The fewer ways to get to you, the better. Only problem with this spot is you're probably gonna have to have fur to live here. Let me see. Turn off GCM. Yeah, look how quick I'm dying. 90, 85, 80. And I already put a few points into fortitude. So like, if you don't have fur, it's gonna be a pain to live here. The cold isn't super bad though. So like I have ice cube right now. I'm barely losing health with four pieces of regular fur gear. I put on a fifth piece, snowflake. So if you got a full set of fur, you should be good out here. I'm actually gaining health. Take two pieces off. You see my health starts going down. Take another piece, skyrocketing. Not a bad base spot right here. It's the snow mountain right to the east of the uh, blue up snow mountain. Lots of resources around. And the penguin spawn for organic poly isn't super far away. 22.3, 53.1. So for the next spot, we have Central Cave. Here it is on the map, right where the X is. I'm looking at it through the teleporter menu. I think this is probably better to show you. And the coordinates are 41.7, 47.4. It's gonna be right to the north of Redwoods. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's literally the worst it can be right now. Raining, fog, but it's right to the north of Redwoods and right to the east of this big mountain right here. That's Redwoods right there. You can see the river. It's right here next to this mountain. Come down in here. There's an explorer note. Pretty sure this crystal's harvestable. Yeah, crystal down here, obsidian metal bunch of dangerous shit of course and it opens up a bit in the back and here's the artifact this is where you get artifact of the clever and you even got a little underwater spot down here pretty decent amount of room for breeding or whatever you need to do you'll definitely be able to fit a tp in here because they're reducing the size of them. So that shouldn't be a problem. Pretty decent sized cave to build in. And I didn't even go through the entire thing because this video would be way too long if I did, but it's a decent spot. Depending on what they do with the cave entrance, could be worth building in. You're definitely gonna wanna wait until you unlock tech teleporter to build in this. Unless they just open it wide enough for all teams to fit through it right out of the gate, then it might be worth But Next spot we got is the Ascension Cave or the Tech Cave. Coordinates are 42.2, 39.5. Here it is on the map, right where the X is. So I don't think this spot is usually buildable on official servers. So you might not be able to build here, but if you can, this is gonna be one of the top base spots for sure. There's plenty of room, tons of resources, metal, obsidian, crystal, and there's only one way up. So that's a really nice spot. And this is the Ascension. This is the final boss, pretty much. Get an extra 15 levels to your character whenever you beat this. And for the next spot, we got Green Ob. All of the obelisks on this map are worth considering for a base spot. Because there's only one way up onto this obelisk. It's this little bridge right here. The only bad part about this spot is people can just set up along these cliff ledges and snipe your teams or whatever. So you would have to have like defenses all around this thing. So yeah, that's the only bad part about this base spot. But then again, with Rhino Nats being a thing, people can pretty much snipe your teams from anywhere. But yeah, this, this spot has, has a ton of stone everywhere for gunpowder, literally all over the place. I don't see any metal like right around it. But yeah, if anybody tries to raid this spot and actually get in your base, they only have one way to come from and it's this ramp. So it's not a bad base spot. Green Knob's definitely got some potential. This next spot is right next to Green Knob. Here's the cords, 62.6, 64.4, right there on the map. And it's literally, it's right to the west of Green Knob. So that's Green Knob right there. It's right across this river from Green Knob. So you'd put your main base like up here on the ledge. Then there's only one way up for this part. And you could extend out and basically take over this entire little piece right here. And then there's two ways up. They got this ramp right here. And then they got this whole side over here that they could come up. 
But it's still a really decent base spot, even though they have, even though there's two entrances, there's only one entrance right here. So if you're not able to like get one of the alpha spots, or if you just have a smaller tribe that's not going to be able to play all the time, this isn't a bad spot. And for our next spot, at the southeast part of the map, it's right, that's Herbivore Island right there. It's right to the north of Herbivore, Herbivore Island, right where the, it makes this little C shape. Come down here. It's 70.6, 86.5. It's gonna be right here. Like I said, the cave entrance might be different. But you come down in here. Now it is really hot in here. Well, this is a pretty decent sized cave. I got all this. Here's a drop. Got metal nodes down here. Obsidian, metal. Tons of room right here easily fit a smaller tp for sure probably can even fit these yeah easily yeah this cave is huge and it has an artifact in it artifact of the massive just know that if you build in one of these artifact caves whoever the biggest tribe on the server is is going to try to wipe you because they're not going to be able to do the all the boss fights unless they have access to all the artifacts so be careful building in these caves unless you think that you can handle the alphas trying to wipe you. Of course, I'm only talking about PvP when I say that. But yeah, this is a pretty nice cave to build in. I'm not sure how the cave entrances are going to be, but I'm assuming you're not going to be able to really build in the caves until you get a tech teleporter. So this is going to be one of the alpha base spots too. For people to raid you, they either have to fly stuff over here with a rhino gnat, or they'll have to use rafts or use a quetz or soak with water dinos or whatever. But that's gonna make stuff a lot more difficult when it comes to raiding somebody. So this is a really solid spot. Get a whole island to yourself, sort of like Carno Island, except for a little bit smaller and you don't get a cave. So in my opinion, Carno Island's just better in all aspects, but I think this is still a really solid second choice and it's probably easier to deal with in the early game because there's nothing really dangerous on here. There's no carnos, no, nothing really to attack you. There's not a ton of resources, so resources, once you get foundations and stuff stops these, and stuff stops spawning over here, it might start to become a problem. Getting resources back and forth, slow you down a little bit, but still a solid spot. And that applies to carno too. Take you a little bit longer to get resources. But the, there it is on the map. It's at the very southeast of the map. That little island. And the coordinates are 84, 84. You even got like a little water area. And you can keep your teams in. Put like a turret tower right here. Right there. You could even put them on these little smaller islands. You'd put your base somewhere at the top up here. You'd probably put it on this back side. Because that's, this ramp comes up right here. They could walk up the entire back side. So you'd probably want to put your base somewhere on this side so here's another spot this one's pretty close to green knob too it's right to the south of green knob if you're following that river down you'll literally run right into it it splits right around it coordinates going to be 71.5 69.8 there it is on the map i know the map's going to be different for asa so i'm pretty sure the coordinates should stay the same so hopefully the coordinates can still help you out but I wanted to get this video out before the game launches because a lot of people are going to be looking for decent base spots the day the game comes out or before the game even comes out so they know where to go whenever it does release. So I wanted to make sure that I did a video on it before it actually came out. There's only one way up on this spot. It's a big one way. Like you'd have to protect this whole side of the cliff. But it's still you only have to defend from one direction. Have turret towers like in the center. It could protect both sides. Yeah, this isn't a bad spot. I doubt you'll see an alpha, like any of the alpha tribes build right here. But it it is a decent medium-sized tribe spot. And there's tons of stone everywhere, but that's pretty much anywhere you go. As far as resources go, I don't really see a whole lot of metal. So yeah, overall, I'll probably give this one a 6 out of 10. So the next spot we have is Pack Cave. It's going to be right here on the map. Coordinates are 68.6. 56.0 right to the south of redwoods running along the swamp drop down this is a pretty decent sized cave got all this room right here this could be multiple layers if you wanted it 
Got an explore note right there. And it opens up right here. Keep going further. And it opens up even more in the back right here. And it's got a little water area. And goes even further. Yeah, look how big this place is. It's huge. This could be another decent cave to build in once you uh, unlock TP. It's got a ton of room. I haven't even been in these caves in so long. Since all the other maps were released and Ark Survival Evolved, I barely come on the island for anything other than like a note run. Yeah, that's the pack cave. Ordinance 68.556.0. And next we have the Hunter Cave. Which is right here on the map where the X is. And the coordinates are 80.0, 53.5. Fly up so you can get an idea of where it's at. There's that rock area right here in this little trench. This is another pretty big cave. Opens up really big in here. Got a little water area. I don't know how useful these water areas are going to be without cryopods. I don't know how you would get stuff in here. Can you TP water teams? I don't think you can. I don't know. This cave is pretty big. I'll let y'all do the exploring. I just wanted to give a little overview of it. Next we have the pillars that I was just showing. So that cave is like somewhere to the north of us right there. I got these pillars. People used to build on these back in the day. Whenever... The island was the only map in the original Ark Survival Evolved. But like, this pillar has plenty of room to put a base. You could have little towers on all of these. You could basically take over this whole little spot right here. It has really close water access, stone everywhere. The closest metal is probably on this mountain right here. Got a bunch of metal right there, but... And they got some right here. On this mountain. This is going to be a pretty decent spot once uh, you're able to get all your tames up here. Build this thing multiple layers high. Next spot we got is Swamp Cave. Now, unless you are the biggest tribe on the server, I would not try building here. Because you will get wiped. This is like the number one source of cementing paste on this map. There's really not that many beaver dams for everybody. If there's a lot of people playing on the server. So people usually come in here with a frog or a megatherium and they kill all this stuff. You see these, all these meganeuras or dragonflies, whatever you want to call them. All these give you a ton of cementing paste with a frog. You just come in here and farm a bunch of those and you're set with cementing paste for a while. There's actually a bunch of drops in there too. But if you build too close to this entrance or if you build in, once you build in here, all those insects are going to stop spawning and you're not going to be able to get as much cementing paste from it. And people are going to get pissed because this is the only good cementing paste farm there is on this map. So I would definitely be careful of building in here. But it, it's it's got a decent amount of room. It got that front area and it comes down and opens up in multiple parts. I got this little area. I got a blue drop. This little area. A little crouch point with another area. I'm sure most of you have been in that cave a decent amount of times. But there it is on the map. And the coordinates are 62.3, 36.9. And if this is better for you, there it is right there. The X. Next spot we got is right next to Red Ob. It's on top of this big rock. 87.4, 24.6. There it is on the map at the very southwest. Keep in mind this is a very active spot for players to be because this is where the note run is. There's one of the notes right there. There's another one right here. There's another one like on the same mountain that you're built on right there. But yeah, this isn't a bad base spot. You can't really get up here from any direction with Thames. So this is a really solid spot. It's just high traffic. There will be a ton of people over here, at least the newer players. 
So once you're uh, built up a little bit, you might not have as much of a problem. But yeah, overall, this isn't a bad base spot. I'll probably give it like a 7 out of 10. 86.7, 24.7. There it is on the map. And we got Red Op. Don't really need to give you the coordinates and map position for this because you can see it pretty much from anywhere. But 80.0, 17.9. There it is on the map. This spot's kind of similar to Green Op, except for there's better water access you just put your base right here they can only come up from this way you'd have to protect the along the edge i think this spot might be a little bit better than green up since it's only like there's less land that you have to protect from the circle doesn't the ledge doesn't run all the way around like it does on green up but it can be raft rated to a certain extent i could just pull rafts right up into your shit if you don't have these two uh, waterways protected well. Yeah, there's not a ton of metal around Red Ob though. That's going to be a problem with this spot. Pretty sh The closest spawn is like way over here. Pretty sure this is the closest spawn of metal. But yeah, this is definitely going to be an alpha spot. One of them at least. Next we have this little cliff ledge to the north of Red Ob. It's on the west side of the map. Coordinates are... 50.0 16.3 it's only got one entrance up from right here at least and you could build a pretty big base in this little area this back side is a cliff and then you're semi close to snow which has a ton of resources and you're right next to water and there it is on this map and we have another little bridge type base this one's actually a bridge I think this one's a lot better than the one I just showed too. But there it is on the map and the coordinates are 32.9, 14.1. It's on the very northwest side of the map. Not very northwest, but it's on the very west side of the map. It's right next to the icebergs. Well, this is a pretty good base spot. There's only one way up and there's plenty of room to build. Easy water access. There's polymer farm literally right next to you. Oil. This isn't the penguin iceberg, but there's oil and there's polymer. Look at all the penguins. Ton of metal all around snow. Definitely a good spot. You will have to worry about the people built at Blue Wob or the people built on these icebergs. So keep that in mind. And since we're talking about the icebergs, it's another one of the alpha spots. I've seen some pretty big tribes build on these things. There's a ton of penguins, oil, easy water access. I got holes that come down here into the water. You could put like a little pin or something right there. Another water spot. A bunch of room to put defenses or your teams down here. And you would put your base probably up on the top right here. Then I'll go ahead and show you the other two icebergs. I got penguins on this one too. Oil. There's land on both sides. You can even build on these. And then you put your base up here at the top. Probably a little turret tower right here, turret tower right here, whatever you want to do. And then the other one that people build on, this one has a bunch of penguins, but you could build on this one too. I think the best one to build on is this one. It's got the most room. Put your base up top right here. You can have whatever you want right here too. Crafting station or... Put your breeders right there and then put your crafting station down here. Bunch of oil and penguins. The snow just has so much resources. It's awesome to build in. Crystal right across from you. Metal, crystal, oil, penguins. And they got pearls right here. All in the water. So yeah, all of these icebergs are decent spots to build. You just have to worry about being raft rated. People can just pull up rafts or they might even get two so's. And like if you have your tames too close to the ledge, they could probably snag your tames with a two so. But let's be real. Every base spot has its weaknesses. I got one more and then I'm going to show you the, my favorite base spot or my two favorite base spots. This is right across from the icebergs that I was just showing you. You got this little ramp that comes down. 
The cave entrance is right here. Coordinates 18.9, 18.8. There it is on the map. I'm in this little cave right here. This one has a smaller entrance. I think you actually have to, yeah, you actually have to crouch to get in. Like I said, the entrances may be changed. But this one, it's, it's kind of small. You can build in here. I put foundations all throughout, but as resources like there's not very many openings in this spot yeah here's the artifact artifact of the sky lord this cave is pretty small this would have to be for like a smaller tribe and even then it's really not great maybe good to hide a little loot in or whatever if you have another spot locked down too but for like storing dinos and stuff, not the best option. Now I'm going to show you the two spots that I plan on going for whenever the game's released. Blue Ob. I really like Blue Ob for multiple reasons. So you could put your base along this, this mountain. You can add a bunch of stuff right here too. You could have turret towers on all these little ledges and there's really only two ways up they got this long entrance out front and then they have this other ramp that comes up the back but it has like holes on the ramp so it might be a little bit harder to get up on this side so people usually go the other way and building in the snow on this map it'll keep away the majority of people because like without fur in this area it's pretty similar to that other snow mountain I showed earlier. Look how quick you die. So unless somebody has fur or a ton of sleeping bags and beds and stuff, it's going to be a problem for them. But there's a ton of metal all the way up and down this ledge. Crystal, metal, stone, obsidian, uh, like it all the way down. Just a ton of it all along this ledge. Tons of gold rocks. It just keeps going all the way down. And you got polymer access along the icebergs if nobody's built there. Pearls along there. It's like every resource is super close when you're building over here besides maybe cementing paste. But if you get desperate, you could even craft cementing paste with stone and chitin, I think it is. And then the good part about taking this spot early on is once you get a teleporter, which is, which if you're playing on official, at least on official small trials, it'll probably be like close to a weekend before anybody's getting teleporters and stuff. But maybe not. Who knows? They Somebody might find a new exploit now that a ton of people are going to be doing it. But a good part about locking this down early is you got the snow cave right here. So that's blue ob right there. If you got blue ob, it's easier to come over here and spam all of this off. Just put foundations all throughout here and possibly maybe a few turret towers in the front until you get a teleporter. And when you get a teleporter, you'll be able to breed and everything in this snow cave. And this cave is huge. Got plenty of drops in here. Plenty of breeding room. Anglers. I don't even know if you could tame those anglers since it's in a cave, but I know you can't tame polar bears. But yeah, this, these two spots, Blue Wob and this snow cave right here is probably what I'm going to go for out of the gate. Or what we're going to go for out of the gate. And it has an artifact in it, artifact of the strong. 29.7, 31.7. Let's see, what's the name of this griffin? Oh, shit. Or Banjo's Arc PvP. That reminds me. You should check out the Banjo's Arc PvP servers. The servers will be available on all platforms when ASA comes out. We're gonna have some modded servers to play on. I'm gonna leave a link to the Discord in the video description and in the pinned comment. Thank you very much. See you there.